Welcome to Sneedville, a city, they say, that was plastic and fake. And they liked it that way. No nature, no flowers, no one seemed to mind. But a secret was waiting for someone to find. In The Lorax by Dr. Seuss, 12-year-old Ted is in love. He just can't get his mind off Audrey, the cute apple of his eye. It just so happens that Audrey is in love too. But her size of desire are over this strange, wonderful thing called a tree. You see, in Ted and Audrey's polluted and plastic world, they've all but forgotten about those leafy, growing wonders. In fact, it seems the only one who can even remember what those tree things look like is a strange hermit who lives well outside of the town called Onceler. So, you want to know what happened to the trees? He's inspired now, and he'll speak with anybody and search high and low to find the answers. Or to put it in the Seuss vernacular, young Ted will go searching for a real live tree to give to the girl that he'd much like to see. Based on Dr. Seuss's 1970s classic children's book, this animated flick is colorful and rhyme-filled. It tells us that growing things like trees are really quite cool. And well, if you cut them all down, you'd be such a fool. All rhymes aside though, if you're so inclined, the environmental preachiness here might feel a bit heavy handed. And there is a good helping of slapstick violence in the mix. So I'll nip just a little off the top and give the Lorax four and a half white bushy mustaches out of five for family friendliness. For an in-depth review on this film or reviews of anything else playing at your local theater, come visit us at PluggedIn.com. Plugging you into the movies, I'm Cheryl Wilhelmy for Focus on the Family's Plugged In Movie Review.